2017 Caterham 7 Sprint Review. 8. The Caterham 7 Sprint is yet another British heritage throwback, but like the rest, its sheer charm manages to outweigh its downsides. What is it? It seems every long-standing British car maker is trying to cash in on its heritage at the moment. Jaguar Classic and Land Rover Classic are busy restoring XKSSS and two-door Range Rovers, Morgan has successfully relaunched its three-wheeler and now Caterham is producing a vintage model of its own to commemorate six decades since the launch of the original Lotus 7. The new Sprint mixes the look and charm of Lotus founder Colin Chapman's original two-seater with the running gear, heated windscreen, and watertight roof of a modern-day 7 160. The model gets long, curving wheel arches and a red leather interior complete with a gorgeous Moto Lita wood-rimmed steering wheel, but up front there's a contrastingly modern Suzuki 660 cubic centimeters turbocharged three-cylinder engine that's barely larger than the battery under the bonnet. It comes mated to a five-speed manual gearbox and puts out just 80 bhp, and it needs to be spinning at 7000 rpm to manage even that. What's it like? Yet, since the little Sprint weighs only 490 kilograms, its power-to-weight ratio is a respectable 163 bhp per ton, so 62 miles per hour arrives in 6.9 sec and its maximum speed is 100 miles per hour which is plenty in a car that sits inches off the ground and comes with flimsy, removable doors, let me tell you. The accompanying 79 pounds foot of torque may not sound like a lot, but it's more than enough to break the traction of its 155 section rear tires. True, the potential for fun is on offer, but you have to get into the thing first. The Sprint is based on the 160 model, which measures 1575 mm wide, although the cabin is little more than half that, so for anyone of average or more height, slipping into the cockpit with the roof up involves using a variety of bespoke yoga movements I'm yet to learn the names of. Once in, leg room is very narrow and there's barely enough space to rest your arms. In fact, your right arm will naturally fall into a curved section of the door and your left will rest on the transmission tunnel. It's that tight. Start it up and the three-pot rumbles into life, vibrating the body in a decidedly old-school manner. Once rolling, the engine feels more modern, with a familiar kick as the boost arrives from 2500 RPM and turbo flutter when off-throttle, but the short ratio gearbox is tight and notchy and therefore contrasting to most new cars. The throw feels barely an inch long from neutral to first, but the narrow gate means you can't rush the change as fast as you might expect. The grip from the car's skinny Avon tires is low on damp winter roads, but the balanced chassis and deliciously communicative unassisted steering makes driving around its limit a joy. The car's ride, while not harsh, is firm enough that every crack and surface change in the road vibrates its way through your backside, while your fingertips are in constant communication with the front tires via that varnished wooden rim. Within seconds, you can gauge exactly what level of grip you're working with, and even if you overstep the mark, the low speeds you're traveling at make gathering it up a much more straightforward task. It proves a simple setup, Solid beam axle and rear drum brakes included can be supremely effective in the right application. Every action translates into a noticeable reaction from the car, and while the cramped space makes working the 330mm diameter wheel slightly uncomfortable, the resulting elbows out driving style feels very 1960s. Of course, the sprint's raw nature translates into limited long distance cruising ability. Wind noise, road noise, and vibrations, not to mention the ache from a lack of space to rest your left foot, as well as the boredom from a lack of radio are just a few of several reasons why you'd probably keep the 7 exclusively for charging down B roads. Should I buy one? Arguably, £28,000 is a lot of money for such a basic caterham, but clearly that's proven no issue because all 60 examples of the 7 Sprint have already found homes.
and judging by the steady or rising prices of other Heritage Limited Edition cars, it's entirely possible that you might pay even more for it second or third time around. Ultimately, for those who crave the looks and simplicity of a classic model with significantly improved reliability and weatherproofing, and for those who want to experience what motoring used to be, the 7 Sprint makes a lovable proposition that'll be hard to resist on the used market. Caterham 7 Sprint Location Surrey On sale Now Price £27,995 Engine 3 sills, 660 cubic centimeters, turbo, petrol Power 80 bhp at 7000 rpm Torque 79 pounds foot at 3400 rpm Gearbox 5 SPD manual Curb weight 490 kilograms 0 to 62 miles per hour 6.9 SEC Top speed 100 miles per hour Economy 57.6 mpg combined co2 slash tax band 114 g slash km 19 percent rivals morgan three wheeler 